but I've been digging up some M16 ammunition, live ammunition, and I found this right amongst it. So, hey, that's good. We'll keep on going now. Headed out to the lakes today. Got three lakes I'm going to hit. Going to see what we come up with and make you guys a good video. Hopefully, find some good jewelry, some good rings. I'm still in the search for that gold ring. I haven't got but one this year. And uh, it's just, I guess in my area, gold rings are just a rarity. There are just not many around here. But, uh, but I'm in the hunt for a gold ring. And so uh, we're going to have a good day today. Hopefully, we'll find some good stuff to show you guys. But also don't forget, somewhere in along this video, I'm going to be asking a trivia question. And that question is going to pertain to one of my former episodes or, or, or it's going to maybe in my Facebook post or Instagram post. Something like that. I'm going to ask you a trivia question. And the first one to answer that trivia question correctly in the comments will win a Preacher Digger sticker and maybe something else. I may be throwing another surprise in there. But if you don't know where I'm going to put this thing, I'm going to put it in the beginning, at the end, in the middle, between the scoop cam shot, you never know. So uh, watch it all the way through. Be the first one to answer and get yourself a Preacher Digger sticker. And I appreciate it very much. So I've got a little bit ways to go. And so I will see you guys out in the water. Made it out to the lake. We're going to hit this one first and got two more I'm going to do. Uh, doesn't look like anybody's been out here, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there's this lake gets hit quite a bit, but uh, it's real clean. And so you can go pretty quick on it. Hit it in about 45 minutes. So let's jump in. And hopefully that alligator that is here is not out here today. And uh, let's get in the water, see what we come up with. To the next lake I just got dime a couple of earrings and uh, just pull tabs so that's the way it is sometimes you get it good and last time I came here I got two rings and the time before that I got two rings and this time two earrings and uh, I don't really care for earrings I want the rings but we're gonna move on to another lake and uh, see what else we get so I'll see you out in the water I made it out to the next lake and uh, let's see if what we can find out here. Last time I was out here, I didn't find too much. The time before that, found a couple of rings and a chain. So you just never know. You never know. So you got to hunt them to find it, right? It's not going to jump in the scoop by itself. So let's jump in the water. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Well, I moved on from that second lake. I didn't find anything there but some pull tabs. It's cleaned out pretty good. So come back down here to the lake that's close by my house. It's been real good to me this year. And I'm uh, going to go hit it for just a little while, see what we come up with. And I may take off and go hit three more swimming areas later on today. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right, let's jump in the water. <laughs> Finally, here is my fourth lake and my fourth swimming area, <clears throat> and finally found a silver ring. Finally. 
it's not much one, but hey, it's one. Ringing up is an 81, and about a little bit above waist deep of water. So that's pretty good. Hey, there's ring number one. Let's keep on going. I've dug a lot of pull tabs and uh, uh, quarters and other stuff, so I know it hasn't really been hunted. So let's keep on going. All right, my last swimming area. This will be number five. Number five swimming area for today. I only got that one ring at the last swimming area. And I've got one more on this lake, but it usually doesn't have much. I'm not going to go mess with it. I'll wait, save it for next week. But this doesn't look too crowded, so I'm going to get out here and hit this for about 45 minutes. And this is the, the most popular swimming area, so hopefully it's got something out here. So let's jump in and see what we can get. Right, this is swimming hole number seven, lake number four. And uh, I have struck out on five, five swimming areas. We got one silver ring on the one, and here's the seventh one. Let's see what we can get. Let's jump in. Let's be positive. Let's see what we can get. Let's jump in the water. Well, that is swim area number seven, lake number four. Strike again. Tell you what, one out of seven places produced anything. We got three year rings and a ring. That's about it. Nothing big today. All right. That's the way it is. We'll try again later on this week. So I'll see you back out at the lakes in about two or three days. Well, I'm back out here by the lake. That's by my house. And uh, since it's close, I'm just kind of hitting it persistently and it's paying off to do that, even though every time I come, I don't find anything. Just every other time I find something. But, but that's uh, the way it is sometimes. You know, you don't find everything every time you go out. And kind of representing that here in this video, you know, this is my, uh, this will be my uh, fifth lake. And this is the same lake twice, but my eighth swimming area. I've won the same one twice. And I've only found one ring and three earrings. It just goes to show you sometimes, you know, I don't know if people are hitting this. I don't think so. I think it's just it's hot. There's not as many people out in the water and school is getting ready. So there's just not that many people out here anymore. And plus people, it's a little bit both and not either or, but hey, you can't find anything, can you? Unless you go and look. So I can sit here and complain about not finding anything or I can get out here and just spend a couple hours and see what I can get. And so if I can just get one ring, it'd be worth it to me. So I'm gonna hit this lake today and I'm gonna get out of my area tomorrow and go to a lake that's kind of a little bit further away that it's not really being hit and uh, every time I go there I tend to find something and so hopefully that's gonna be it and so but let's get in the water let's see what we can find I was getting a real faint uh, 81 80 signal 82 sometimes jumps up to 83 84 I thought maybe it was a deep dime and uh, you can see I'm shoulder deep right now and it took me about five six minutes to get it up it's a very old toy car uh, oh I don't know what year it is but it's old this is an old lake impounded I think back in the 50s but uh, see where the depth I'm standing right now this is how deep it was watch this it was a foot deep that's how how deep this car was all right let's keep going all right, made it out to the lake. This is my one, two, three, four, five, six time to visit a lake. And this is my eighth swimming area. And I've only got one ring, so it just goes that way. So we're gonna hit this one pretty good and see what we come up with. If I find anything, I'll definitely show it to you. So let's go have some fun. Steep of water got an 82 83. I'm just going to reach down here and uh, feel what it is. Hang on a second. All right, it's gonna be a dog tag, I can tell. Yeah, something recon. It'll be a dog tag. It's my first target. Everything else has been money and pull tabs, but this is my first uh, target. So I haven't got a ring yet, so we're still in the in the hope for it. Maybe a gold ring. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's keep going. I still got a lot of area to cover. All right, as I promised, uh, we're going to have a little trivia time now. So you have to put your thinking caps on this one. Last year, I did a ring challenge with Gypsy Jewels. I took her out uh, to a bunch of different lakes. Actually, the lakes I'm doing today. And uh, we did a little ring challenge. Who could get the most rings at the end of the day? 
the first one that can tell me what was the final score between me and Gypsy and put it in the comments is going to be the winner and can will win the Preacher Digger sticker and possibly something else. So that is the trivia question. In the ring challenge with Gypsy Jewels, what was the final score? All right, good luck. Well, got me an 84 signal and dug it up. Looks like it's going to be a ring with some pretty stones in it. I don't know if it's going to, I think it's just going to be copper, silver plated is what it's going to be. But I've been digging up some M16 ammunition, live ammunition, and I found this right amongst it. So, hey, that's good. We'll keep on going now. Well, I found the exact ring that I found while ago. This is the second one. That's weird. Huh. It uh, looks like silver plated, but hey, I'll take it. It's a ring. It's got a heart, diamond looking. I don't know what this is. Like, that's all going to be fake, but hey, it's still a ring. All right, let's keep on going. <laughs> Little goose taking a nap there. Well, I'm back out here to the lake beside my house, and this is my third time to come to this lake. Uh, I'm just trying to be persistent. Um, I've gone now to, I think, six different lakes, this lake three times, and I think nine different swimming areas, and I just haven't found a whole lot. And uh, I guess the metal detecting tip I want to leave you with today is the it can get very discouraging uh, later on in the summer. Not many people are swimming. It's hot, uh, not a lot of ring turnovers. And uh, plus the COVID here in Texas is getting worse. Not many people are getting out. But uh, the key when it gets like this is not to get discouraged. I mean, you get a bad attitude. You don't want to get out at all. And you get frustrated. And I found myself doing those things. But uh, I told myself persistence. That's what's going to win out, persistence. Just keep hitting the lakes. Just keep at it come to this lake uh, three times this week and surely it's going to pay off in the end so if it does you'll see it if it doesn't you'll see what I find uh, if it's nothing at all so uh, let's get out in the water and let's spend a couple hours here and uh, let's see what we find out let's see what we can get all right let's be persistent all right let's get at it been out here uh, about uh, 15 minutes about chest deep about five foot of water right here but I don't know if you can hear this you hear that? It's an 82 and it's right on top of the surface so it's jumping around really quick and double hitting a lot. Sound, sounds good. Uh, let me turn you around and let's go down there and let's try to glide dig this one. Hang on. Turn you around. Okay, you can see the scoop came out. How about that? Let's go down in the water. See if I can get it on the first scoop.
me a few times. Only about five scoops to get this thing. It's a small little silver ring with a little red, uh, maybe a garnet on it. I don't know. It's uh, tarnished on the inside really bad. Haven't been dropped that too long. Hey, I'll take that. See, it pays to be deep. That's all I've been doing. People's been out here detecting, but uh, I've just been going out deep. Deep, in, deep water. I'm fixing to go out a little bit deeper so if I can't find any more. So, all right, good silver ring. That's a good start. Let's see if we want it. Again. Hey, now it's an episode. Preacher Digger got his cross. It's a nice big silver ring. As you can see, I'm standing on tiptoes right now. It's chin deep. I'm on the far as out as I can get going down the down slope, and this is where no one else is really detecting. And I've just been going very, very slow down around that down slope, and sometimes just barely floating, pushing myself along with my uh, detector, I mean, my scoop. But uh, hey, that's nice. Uh, Hey, that's James Avery. That's going to be a James Avery uh, cross ring. That's kind of the old style James Avery. I've never seen one like that. But hey, I'll take that. That's that's pretty neat. Preacher Digger got his cross. It's an episode. All right. It's been a while since I got my other ring. And uh, so I'm going to stay out here in the deep and keep working that side over here. I worked that side over there. Really didn't get anything. I got a penny and got that one little silver ring. And uh, got some other targets, but just trash. But... I'll take this. Uh, two years ago, I was in this same spot right out here in the deep. The lake was a little bit lower so I could get further out. Had my goggles on and I was just floating, basically floating on top of the water and just reaching down, straight down with my detector. And when I got a signal, I would uh, mark it and then I would just, just kind of go underwater, scoot and come back up. And I got a real big, nice silver diamond ring right out here. And so I know there's some rings out here in the deep because I see people out here swimming and floating. But uh, I'll take that one. All right, let's see if I can get another one. And uh, let's keep on going. I'm looking for the gold ring. I haven't got but one gold that I remember. Uh, but I'm looking for a big gold ring. So that's what we're trying to go for. Let's work this a little bit longer and let's go in to shoot a wrap up and call this a video, okay? Well, I made it back from the lakes. And it's been a long week this week. I have been to many lakes, many swimming areas, and I have worked hard to get enough stuff to make a good video. And I felt like quitting on many occasions, but I didn't. I just told myself to keep being persistent, stay with it, and just get one thing at this lake, maybe one thing at that lake, and one thing at that lake, and it, eventually it all add up. And after a whole seven days of detecting, and I think nine different swimming areas and five or six different lakes, I forget, I'll lose count. I finally got enough to make a decent video. And so let me spin you around, let me show you what I got. All right, hunting again with my AT Pro, discrimination 30, sensitivity down one bar with the uh, six inch coil. And, uh, and so I just like hunting with that AT Pro. It's just my go-to in the water. But here is all the trash, here's all my aluminum dug a lot of cans up this time I could have dug any more even more but I'm not the lake janitor so I didn't if I dig it I'll take it out if I don't dig it I'll leave it there unless it's just floating on top of the water but I can't get it all my bag was completely full here's all the fishing stuff we got a lot of fishing weights this time I dig those because they ring up a lot of times in the 50s and 60s where rings would uh, di uh, ring up and they sound real good and so I dig them dug my first piece of chocolate still have the aluminum foil on it battery binoculars Scoop that button up. It's a plastic button with some other stuff. Here's all my pull tabs. Uh, dug two more of those uh, jewels up. Bottle caps. I don't dig a whole lot of bottle caps because I can tell what a bottle cap really is because of the uh, ridges on the on the edge. It just has a distinct, distinct uh, iron sound to it. And uh, but these aluminum caps, they ring up really nice, especially these bent ones. They make you think it's a ring. But, uh, yeah, dug quite a bit of trash up. And I dug for the first time in my life, check this out. I have never dug M16 or AR-15 ammunition. Uh, a guy, a young boy was there in the lake, 
and he says, you're going to dig some uh, M16 ammunition up. And I thought he was just playing with me. And I came across this uh, this this bullet. And actually, they sound just like these loop earrings. Real got a lot of iron grunt into it, ringing up like a 38, 37. And so when I decided to dig one, I knew what it sounded like. And then as I kept detecting in the area, I just kept getting that signal. I figured, well, I'll be a good Samaritan and I'll dig this live ammunition out of the swing area. Ended up with 12 of them. I'm going to clean them up real nice and put them in my uh, AR-15. I'm going to keep them. Those things are kind of expensive. I did dig this one car. It's a 1969. It's a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Uh, by, made in England by Lesney. But it's made in 1969. You saw in the video uh, the picture. And that was one foot deep, too. That was a, a remarkable, man. It was, just, it was ringing up good. All right, here's my money count. I got 15 pennies this time around. Didn't dig a lot of nickels. Got three of those. I got 5, 10, 15, 16 dimes. And then check out the quarters this time. I got 24 quarters this time around. So 24 quarters, $6 worth. Here is my loop earrings. I dug quite a few ear ear earrings, a stud. What's neat, I think if you go back and watch the videos like two videos ago, I dug the other one of these up and I just found the other one today so that's kind of neat I did get another skull I'll add that to my dog tag uh, display case that I made ghost recon uh, dog tag uh, nothing on the back and then where I was digging all these bullets is where I got these two rings and check this out they are the same ring they're not precious metal. They're just silver-plated copper, and so they'll be fake stones. But, but yeah, that's kind of neat that I dug two rings uh, are, that are identical. I don't know how they uh, did it. I don't know if they wore them kind of like that. They're pretty rings, but they're just costume rings nonetheless. I did get, this is my first ring. Got a nice little silver wedding band. And then today, I got this little... Uh, Probably a little garnet stone in there, little 925, little kid's ring. It's real small. Won't even fit on my pinky. And then the best find of the day is going to be my cross, uh, this James Avery uh, cross ring. And it's an old style, and it's heavy. It's a lot of silver there. Uh, yeah, I forgot what it was ringing up. I didn't even tell you guys, I don't think, what that was ringing up. Uh, I have to check and see what that was. And uh, make sure I put that in the video for you guys. All right, well, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. I always say the greatest treasure is not what can be found up in the lake and put up on your tailgate and make a video of it. The greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven, my friends. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.